Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This is 2007 Toyota Tacoma and it's a pre-runner version SR5 with two-wheel drive system only and four-cylinder engine. And in this video we will focus on that four-cylinder engine. It's a 2.7 liter and the model number it's a 2TRFE and we will discuss a deadly design flaw on that engine it's not deadly to the owner but it could be completely deadly to the engine it could cause catastrophic failure and destruction I have scheduled two days of work on this vehicle which some of it is already filmed and posted on this channel. For example, this cooling fan clutch. So this morning after one day of work and performing multiple services, I came and was going to do the clutch. A super noisy throw out bearing and the owner ordered or requested replacement of the throwout bearing and the whole clutch so I was going to start this 9 a.m. but I looked on the ground and I said oh my god there is coolant dripping from the vehicle and when I had this truck here two weeks ago for that incoming thorough inspection it was totally fine, there was nothing wrong with it, so it's pretty unbelievable. And super convenient for the owner that he has this vehicle here in the service, and by some miracle, that problem, which is very, very common to this engine, appeared while I'm servicing it. So let me show you how that coolant leak looks like where it's dripping let's grab a light and look at it in the detail and i'm filming this for you basically i try to show it like you have you are the owner and you suddenly found the coolant in your driveway we can just hope you will find it we mentioned it's a two-wheel drive so super simple it's completely missing the cv axles front diff and so on it's a pleasure to work on it for cylinder so basically coming from the bottom do you see these droplets right here nice reddish oranges coolant it should be super long life so you will say pinkish but it just looks like that so this is where i saw it because i came from here so look at the edge we are on the driver's side do you see those droplets I can see it on that bolt in front there and that looks more pinkish which once again we said super long life it's kind of pinkish the long life was red in color but that cannot be filled in 2007 taco so let's go and look from the front what we will see here and I hope you see the vet front of the engine the drip is coming also down here it's wet right here and believe it or not how convenient for this owner it really happened overnight and this failure it's definitely design flaw why am I saying it well because this leak is caused by the failing plastic or use of plastic on the engine you can see this is the era where all kinds of manufacturures like a mercedes-benz bmw germans i think they were pushing it first they start using plastic parts so look even toyota follow that example and we find out later that it was a bad idea most likely the designer said we will save the weight and we will start using good quality plastic well they thought it's a good quality the plastic box air box here is good that's not a problem 
it, it is in heated area of the engine bay area but it's far enough from the engine this plastic valve cover it's directly touching aluminum head which is under so the damage to the plastic can be way faster than when the plastic is far away like here and that's the same case on the part which is actually leaking and so if you look with me in this area we have the coolant reservoir we have the radiator here and if you look down there there is a lower radiator hose that hose is entering thermostat housing but on this engine and I will zoom on it right down there on the right hand side of the thermostat housing there is outlet you will see another pipe leaving and going underneath the intake plenum there are two nuts holding basically plastic hose now it's perfectly visible in center i hope now it's in focus yes so that part actually which you see that black and gray right in center of the screen that's the outlet pipe number one Toyota say says water outlet pipe number one i will correct that i will say it's a coolant pipe but whatever it is going towards to the cabin right there and it's basically hidden from our views underneath the intake i have parts already ready to replace that i will do it correctly will be not trying to dig it from under i'm going to remove all of this i put that as a pointer super long screwdriver so one more time let's try to zoom on it and have it sharp in the focus do you see where that screwdriver is touching that's exactly that that plastic outlet number one pipe it's made of plastic toyota knows about this problem they are fully aware of it i couldn't find a tsb technical service bulletin for you to send you on it so this is what i got in the parts today they charged me 152 dollars 152 dollars for this whole thing i can unpack it you can see they keep calling it water bypass pipe hopefully you can read it this slide here is frustrating uh, yeah is it better yeah the number it's hopefully visible i will take it out plus these two nuts and really importantly new gasket the part i was showing you in the vehicle and i was pointing with the screwdriver was right here this is the connection and i said two nuts they are silver in the vehicle now they are dark black the pipe goes underneath the intake manifold and it's basically this way this goes up and that might be also the plastic also could have broken right here so you can have a two sources when it happens on your truck you can have a two areas which will be leaking either here the plastic material failed or there is that connection somewhere like here and this is where it separates and starts leaking and it needs to be replaced with this upgraded part you can clearly see and you can imagine if you see how many parts are involved in this all of this has to be removed you can understand hopefully that i don't have a time to film this i can only show you when the intake will be removed as the ending of this video so you can nicely see the area but i cannot film the how to because when i film something it takes approximately three or four times longer than if i only work on the vehicle 
it's already 1 30 p.m i want to have it done tonight because i'm scheduled for tomorrow for another car so please understand that not everything can be filmed step by step but intake completely removed so hopefully i can finally show you the part and you know how they teach us manners and they say it's root to point well i will break that rule right there right that pipe that's all plastic and that's what is bad it's so bad that when i was removing it here this pipe look that was that little plastic pipe that broke immediately and started leaking immediately. That's how fragile it was. And then it continues around. And this is where it was leaking for us. That's a part which actually failed. That's where the leak originated. Despite the fact right now the most coolant leak is there. But this is the breakage which I caused removing that intake. So that all will be replaced with that new improved stainless steel part with a new gasket, new nuts. I hope you find this video informative and helpful. And let's have a conclusion of this. Let's say I bought a truck or Toyota product with this engine and with this setup. Well, it's very easy to look with the light if you have stainless steel shiny pipe or you have a black color plastic pipe. I will make it my priority after the purchase to replace that plastic part ASAP with upgraded OEM part from the dealer. This will be definitely my conclusion of this entire plastic failure which was introduced by the engineers in the past most likely trying to save a weight of the parts and reduce the weight of the vehicles so it is what it is fortunately we know how to deal with it and we can keep toyotas on the road as reliable as we know them Thank you for watching. If you find it helpful, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.